Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you the Acropolis Museum in Athens, Greece. If you're wondering how I ended up in Greece, uh, it's because there were no direct flights to Russia. So I decided what better to do than to stop in Greece. And what better to do in Greece than to visit the Acropolis and the Acropolis Museum. Today, the vlog will be about the Acropolis Museum. And if you're wondering where I am right now, I'm in my backyard in New Jersey. Hope you enjoy the vlog. These are geometric bases. They're called geometric bases because they have geometric shapes on them. Geometric period lasted from 900 BC to 700 BC, and it is the oldest style of truly Greek styled art. These are the caryatids from the Erechtheum. They represent the women of Karyai. It is said that the mythical king, Kekrops, lies dead underneath the caryatids. This boat is not a normal decoration. You can't even imagine what this was used for. This was used as a lamp. Basically, they would put oil and a bunch of other herbs in there, and then they would set it on fire, and it worked as a lamp. It's in the shape of a war boat, and it's made out of some type of metal. Yeah, it's really cool, I know. This right here is depicting Athena's birth. And guess what? Athena was born from Zeus's head. Isn't that the strangest thing? Because guess what? Before his wife Hera, um, he had another wife, and um, and uh, he was uh, kind of jealous of that wife because that wife was the um, goddess of um, knowledge, right? So she, so he was jealous that the wife would give birth to someone who would take over um, Zeus's throne, right? So Zeus was very jealous. So instead of, you know, going with a normal family, Zeus ate his wife. I know, it's really weird. Well, yeah. And um, when he ate his wife, he started to have headaches. So then he invited someone over to crack his head open. And from his head came out Athena. This is also a reconstruction of the top of the Parthenon. So that stone um, carving back there is actually part of the top of the Parthenon. It shows a depiction through a carving of a scene. And in the 19th century, a British ambassador was taking pieces of the Parthenon to the British Museum to display there because Britain doesn't have anything interesting. And then, so when he was taking it, um, he decided it was really heavy, right? So instead of taking the whole ginormous block that was part of uh, the frieze inside of the um, uh, Parthenon, he decided just to take the front of it to, to Britain so that it's less heavy because the back, which is this, isn't, is very heavy. And um, the front, which is right here, isn't as heavy as taking the whole entire thing. This is ancient Greek writing. As you can see here, it is um, actually part of a kind of tablet that has the laws regulating the relations between the Athenians and another tribe in the Greek area or maybe even not in the Greek area. So the thing about the thing that I found really interesting about this is that as you guys know I can read Russian, right? And this kind of allows me to read Greek. Let me explain. So Greek, um, the Russian written language is actually um, created based on the written language of Greek and Latin with multiple components. So for example, um, this letter right here, it is put in Russian, this arch-shaped letter. And this letter right here is de in Russian, except in Russian it has like these zigzags 
This is a model of the Acropolis brought from Australia. Let me explain. Australia made an Acropolis out of Legos. If I could buy this, I would, but it's not for sale. The Australian government gave this wonderful piece of Lego artwork to the Acropolis Museum, right? And um, it's an exact representation of what the Acropolis looks like. For example, here is Athena and Nike's temple, or just Nike Athena's temple. Here is the Parthenon, and you can see little workers that are um, uh, rebuilding it. And you can also see a theater, which is right over here. This is an ancient Greek theater, and it was used for dramas and comedies, and um, actually it's still sometimes used today uh, for some concerts. And then over here is another theater, also an exact replica of an ancient Greek theater used for dramas and concerts. Also, the scene that's being depicted in this um, uh, Lego theater is a drama about a guy who um, killed his father without knowing it was his father and, kill and married his mother without knowing it was, uh, she was his mother, right? That's and Oedipus. Just, yeah, right? And um, which is kind of creepy, but still. So what he did to punish himself is he plucked out his own eyes. And uh, there he is. <laughs> he was also ch tortured by furies, really old and scary women with snakes for hair and um, these women represented guilt this is an archaeological dig site so more or less when they were uh, building this museum uh, they were excavating lands and not surprisingly they found some ancient civilization place you know you get the idea right um, and um, here it is <laughs> So actually, what you see over there is um, a really old civilization, um, you know, just before probably modern day Athens, right? But right here is an even earlier civilization. So more or less, the deeper you go, the more ancient the civilization is.